The first of the five searches that we recommend is a web search of images. Go to Google search in your browser or whatever search engine you prefer. Now select the keyword or phrase you believe will be most productive. We're going to use the fruit battery example. But you, of course, will use your own keywords or phrases. For this search, a single word like apple will not be productive because the search will return a mountain of useless stuff. Likely, apple battery will be far more focused. So we enter the term apple battery in the search criteria and initiate the search and then click on images. Now you can see that there are hundreds, literally hundreds of images returned for our phrase apple battery. Here's one that looks close. There's one in the upper left corner that looks close. Pictures are truly worth thousands of words. We get these hundreds of images, most of which have no bearing on the invention example, but some do. Look at the image in the upper left corner. That looks close. We click on that image and we get that one and a number of related images that surely make it clear that an Apple battery as an invention has been done already and as we say is solidly in the prior art. Hopefully when you search your invention you won't be destroyed quite so quickly. Now we will do the second suggested search technique a Google search of information in websites. Again, if you prefer, use a search engine of your own choice. We start at the Google input screen, as you see. Enter your phrase, and our example, Apple Battery, in the search field. And then click on search. As you can see, the sites listed are all about batteries for Apple products, not batteries made from apples. This does not mean that there are no sites that describe the invention we are looking for. And this is why we develop a list of keywords and phrases. We need to go to a different phrase. So now we enter fruit battery and initiate the search and the result changes dramatically. There is no huge corporation named Fruit, so we get sites that describe batteries using Fruit as a power source. And you can see that there are quite a number of such. Again, this site search confirms what we already knew, that batteries by Fruit are well known in the art. In your own search, you may finish the image search and the site search and not find art that is close to your invention. But if so, it is not time to declare victory. You will need to move on to the third step, Google Patents. Now, we will do the third suggested search technique, a Google Patent search of Google's collection of patents. We start at the Google input screen as before and enter Google Patents. The uh, search re returns a site for a Google patent search. We click on that and we get an input screen for searching for patents in Google's collection of patents. We put our fruit battery in the input field and you see that we get a collection of over 4,000 results of sites that have the term fruit battery. Now not all of these are batteries made from fruit. Uh, some are not, but a significant number actually are. So if we go down this looks, list and find, uh, for example, a banana plant battery, we take and click on that and take a look at it. And the abstract says that this invention discloses a banana plant battery has one banana plant, first electrode and second electrode. It's a living plant and comprises organic acid serving as an electrolyte. 
Well, clearly, this is quite close to what we were uh, looking for. So we find exactly what we already knew, that fruit batteries are very common in the art, and that uh, if our invention is a fruit battery, we really don't have much of a chance of getting a patent. Now, as a further aid, you can view and download a PDF copy of any of the patents listed. If you do the Google patent search and do not find close art, your confidence level should definitely be increased, but you shouldn't stop there. A search, at least at the United States Patent and Trademark Office, is still in order. The fourth step in our suggested search progression is issued patents in the USPTO database. We start at the Google input screen as before, and we enter USPTO, which takes us to a site for the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And underneath that, um, that link is a link for search for patents. And search for patents is exactly what we want to do in the USPTO. Click on this guy, and we get a page where we can do searches in a number of different ways. What we're looking for is the patent full text and image database right here. So this is what we want to look at first. We want to find if there are any issued patents that have our keywords and phrases. So we go to that page, select advanced search. Now the protocol is, um, you can see that there are quite a number of fields that can be searched in issued patents. Um, we can search by inventor state, inventor name, issue date, patent number, all sorts of things. What we want is abstract. So the field code for abstract is ABST. We go to the query box and we enter ABST, which means we're going to search abstracts. The protocol says we use a forward slash. And if we're looking for a phrase, then we have to enclose that phrase in quotation marks. And the phrase is fruit battery. Closed in quotation marks. Search. We find very quickly there are no patents issued since 1976 that have the phrase fruit battery in the abstract. But we can't quit there because there may be issued patents that have the words fruit and battery in separate places in the abstract. And the protocol for that sort of a search is it has to be enclosed in parentheses. So we put in fruit and battery, close parentheses, fruit and battery, and we search. And we discover there are four issued patents that have the terms or the words fruit and battery in separate places in the abstract. If we look at these, the fruit picker apparatus with a motor operated cutter is probably not our guy. Outdoor intrusion detection alarm, nope. Electrolytic device may very well be. So we'll look at that one and look at the abstract. Dry cell battery, filler material, vegetal origin, Electrolytes, preferably raw paste material of the fruit of the Carica papaya. And it has, electro it has um, uh, cathodes and an anode. So this is very close to what we're looking at as making electricity from, um, from uh, the um, juices of, of a fruit. And um, so this is probably going to be considered prior art. We go back and look at the dry cell battery in that list. I think we're going to find pretty much the same thing. Fruit of the Carica papaya. Yep. So those two of the four that were issued patents that have the two terms, fruit and battery, in the abstract are both likely going to be considered prior art. So again, we have the same result that we've had before. Now there's one further step, and this is our step five. That is that there are published applications in addition to issued patents that we have to look at. 
So we go back and we look at the patent application full text and image database. These are patent applications that have been published but have not yet perhaps issued as patents. Some of them have. But uh, we go again to advanced search. We get, get a uh, rather large collection of uh, fields that can be searched. Again, we want abstract. So ABST is our key. And we do it exactly like we did for issued patents. And we're going to look for fruit and battery. And we search. And then tell me I'm wrong. Oh, I didn't include the forward slash. Now we have five published patent applications that use the words fruit and battery. The banana plant cell we're going to find is the same one that we saw when we were looking for issued patents because every patent that issues was published at one time. So this is exactly the same one with the, um, with the uh, electrodes and the banana plant close prior art. Surface agent, probably not. Fruit picker apparatus, probably not. Power autonomous portable electric tool set, probably not. But we do have uh, one that's a duplicate of the one we found as issued patents. So again, um, it makes it abundantly clear that the whole uh, concept of a fruit battery as a patent is probably not going to be a successful project for us. But the whole point here has been to show you, the independent inventor, how you can use these five steps of searching in searching for, um, in particular, abstracts of issued patents, uh, abstracts of published applications, uh, websites, images, and in Google patents, not necessarily in that order, with your keywords and phrases to see if your invention is or is not out there somewhere. And again, the whole idea is to further develop your confidence that your invention is very likely patentable before you embark on this rather long and uh, detailed project of preparing and filing a non-provisional patent application.